Hi, I'm Reese Terrace. I'm from Vancouver, BC. I'm a participating artist in the 2011 Kafka Biennale called Survive Resist. I've created a piece which basically curates three architectural sites here in the city of Kitchener and the Duke Street parking garage being one of them behind me. The name of the piece is the Red and the Black Project proposal for the city of Kitchener. Uh, the project came about through me being invited to Kitchener by Kafka to do a lecture or, or a, uh, an artist talk at the City Hall in last year in 2010. And I um, gave an overview of my work and then was invited to propose a piece to the city. The project I proposed to Kafka is called The Red and the Black and it's uh, basically three architectural renderings of uh, three specific architectural sites, one being the Duke Street parking garage behind me here. The other being the Lang Tannery Smokestack, which is now being called the Lang Tannery District. And uh, the other being the Zero to One Artist Space on King Street, which is basically a turn of the century, three-story walk up across from City Hall. I picked the three architectural uh, sites because they all tie into uh, certain trajectories that the city has worked into a, in its economic plan, such as the Lang Tannery m might have been one of the easiest examples in terms of it being there, created the city in some way. Where the Duke Street parking garage behind me here I had a lot to do where the, the city thought it was going in the late 60s, early 70s. This really, at the time, futuristic architecture known as New Brutalism. It's kind of the height of like a, the modernist movement in architecture in some way, and, and it can be seen here. So that's one, one way to look at it where the city thought, okay, we're going to put a little more energy into this, this idea of like mall culture and the automobile, and this is a prime example of that. And it's sort of now an afterthought and a a little bit defunct in, in terms of its form and function. I was interested in this idea of taking the three architectures uh, that I just mentioned and using light to highlight them. So if the project was done or completed, what you would see is all the lights in this parking garage would be swapped out with red lights. And there's also lights that, you, that aren't on right now that are in the spiral. So what they would do is they would all the lights would be swapped out with the red and they come really bright and they go right down to like a really low, like almost to black. And that would happen also at the Lang Tannery District on the smokestack and also in the windows of the three-story walk up at the zero to one space. So what you would see as an installation, which is how the piece was originally proposed, was three sites with their lighting synced. So they would be, be pulsing in, in, a, in synchronicity and they can be seen from different locations of the city or separately and uh, start to tie in together, like why, why are we on about this architecture and why these three spaces? And so it's trying to initiate a dialogue around uh, spaces that are in a transition or spaces that have re redeveloped or reintegrated back into the city and for a new use. So I guess what I want people to take away from it, just to uh, have an understanding of what seems to be really concrete and permanent is uh, always in a process of flux or change. That you can be involved in that process where you can get involved in the dialogue of where the city thinks it's going to go and where, where you'd like it to end up. Not being from Kitchener and being asked to, to come here and uh, produce a piece was a, a really great opportunity for me and I was really happy to be asked to come. And um, I don't know, I, you know, I don't know Ontario very well, but the city of Kitchener really struck me as being a really open place. Like, I think there's a lot of, of potential and things are, are changing here. I'm, I mean, I'm not from here and I don't know the city, but I really enjoyed my stay here. Being somebody from somewhere else, it seems like a special place to me. And I think that's important to look at it. Like, there have been amazing things here that I think are amazing anyway. Like, um, the Iron Horse Trail is fantastic to ride a bike along. and and people having the forethought to make those kind of projects happen are kind of what I'm on about here too with these three architectural spaces and just pointing out uh, how special some of it can be.